The highlight of the soccer year, the FA Cup final, finds Manchester City taking the field at Wembley against Cup specialists Newcastle United. A hundred thousand have come to watch, including Her Majesty the Queen, who is greeted by the Duchess and Earl of Athlone. Manchester skipper Roy Paul spins and Jimmy Scala wins the toss to give Newcastle the best of no slight breeze. The City in white shorts kick off and the game of the year is on. Among those playing in the cup final, the first German to do so is Bert Troutman in City's goal. Newcastle press quickly and inside right Jackie Milburn forces City's left back Little to give a corner, all he could do. Newcastle's outside right takes it, and the ball sails goalwards. Milburn heads, and it's a goal. A beautifully timed header. And within one minute from the start, Newcastle are one up. The City fight back as soon as play settles down again after that dramatic start. But goalie Simpson runs out to lift it from Fagan's head and foil the raid. Newcastle now, and their forwards switch positions as they attack down the right wing. Centre forward Keeble, now outside, sends in a nice through pass. White chases, but Paul beats him and slides it back to Troutman. Princess Margaret is there with the Queen to watch the worst moment of the match. The city's right back Jimmy Meadows is having a tough time marking winger Mitchell. He slips and tears a ligament. He beats the ground with pain as City fans realise that this is no slight injury and that for the rest of the match their team will have to play with one man short. But now those men intend to play. In a spirited attack, Paddy Fagan sends a long cross-field pass to Revy. Back it goes to Barnes as the halves follow up in support. The right half promptly sends it on to Revy again, but now the Newcastle defence have closed in and the raid fails as Simpson gets in and clears. For a while, Newcastle get well on top and Troutman has to leap for it. Now he has to dive for it. Troutman owes his place in British football to the fact that he came here as a POW. He's certainly playing a great game today. A sudden reverse and the City get that ball upfield to the delight of their fans. But Johnson delays his shot and Simpson gets there. The ten men press and Hayes crosses for Johnson's equaliser. There was no delay in that flying header. He certainly made amends for his loss at that open goal. One each at half time. City are in trouble in the second half with Troutman leaping to it again. When they do get the play, the City show the effect of a man off. The well-drilled Newcastle defence have little trouble in sending Scala away with it again. While Troutman gets ready, White centres and the ever-dangerous Mitchell whips in to receive. He runs it on and scores from an almost impossible angle. So Newcastle have the lead again, 2-1. A pity they're playing a depleted team, for Newcastle are showing up very well. Stocko passes to Casey, who carries on working it upfield as the Newcastle forwards sweep down on the City goal. On the attack, the Newcastle forwards find those open spaces. Mitchell shows superb ball control as he manoeuvres into position. His play is worthy of Matthews himself as he prepares for his shot at goal. Fingertips deflected, but Hannah crashes it home. 3-1. In a match like this, that could be a decisive lead. It was Hannah's goal, but Mitchell made it possible. As 10-man Arsenal did three years ago, the City fight back. Casey colliding with Revy is injured and he's on the ground as the battle for the ball goes on, but he recovers later. Back in the City half, Mitchell is on the ball again. Critics call him the man of the match. He centres, but Troutman runs out and collects a lovely piece of anticipation. Still Newcastle, and just before the end, a last shot at goal as Troutman dives, but it goes wide. In the hands of the Queen, the Cup, the most coveted trophy of them all, as Scala leads his 3-1 winners up to the Royal Box. A great moment for the Newcastle fans. As Scala said afterwards, the Newcastle team were proud to have won, but sympathised with Manchester in losing one of their players. In return, City captain Paul said, we were unlucky, but the better team won.
winners five times before. Newcastle United have done it again. A fine team. They deserve it. Thank <laughs> you.